I think, well, we, first of all, we won the Making a Difference category, and I, and I think that's what we do, really. Um, you know, we're not unusual to other schools, but we go that extra mile to make sure that students that come through our doors leave having had lots of opportunities offered to them. Um, our motto is success for all and we believe that every child has something that they can be successful in mm -hmm. or with. So I think that sets us aside the opportunities that we offer. Mm. And Abigail you went to this school and yeah. what, what was your experience? I think my experience the whole way was just having this atmosphere, this climate where I knew that I could achieve whatever I wanted to if I put in the work and pragmatically thought about how I wanted to get there. I knew that I was supported by all of my teachers every step of the way, by these lovely ladies and by so many other teachers within the school. What a wonderful compliment. Mm. <laughs> what, what's it like Indeed. to hear something like that, Kayla? Um, I think, you know, being a teacher, it's, um, it's a, such a privilege to be teaching um, young people like Abigail um, and I think one of our strengths at Joe Richardson is that the, the the human side of teaching that you know everybody cares passionately and as m &A said the, the opportunities that we offer are endless whether it's taking you know 47 students climbing volcanoes in Nicaragua whether it's offering Duke of Edinburgh or whether it's a ski trip or just that arm round of support when a student comes in and they're maybe struggling at home that's the beauty of Joe Richardson is, is that we look after the child we see the child mm -hmm. we see the young person for who they are and what they can achieve mm -hmm. and m a why do you think other schools are failing at failing in certain departments I think there's a lot of pressure on schools um, you know to to deliver really and the way that we have pressure put upon us and the recent changes in the curriculum for instance it makes you possibly focus too much on um, importantly you know exams but maybe the focus is kind of out of kilter, kilter a little bit mm -hmm. and I think what we haven't lost sight at, at Joe Richardson you can see in the, in the video clip there there's so much that goes on uh, you know Kay has mentioned some of the opportunities but it's about developing that student ready for life mm -hmm. both inside and outside the classroom and, mm -hmm. I, and I think possibly with the pressure on schools you know it's easy to lose sight of that and just focus on mm -hmm. that one particular thing mm -hmm. uh, and you know children need much much more than that. Yeah. And Abigail, do you feel at your age now there's so much more pressure because of social media, for example, to compete with one another? Yeah, I, I can see that definitely. I think that's definitely added to, like Miss was saying, um, in terms of exams and stuff like that, there's so much pressure to compete with the people around you mm -hmm. to, get the, to get the better marks than them, to get the better grades than them, that it can be very hard to support each other and I think that's vital especially in the kind of system that we have in this country in, in terms of exam pressure it's so important for students for peers to just support each other in not only academic ways but in terms of mental health um, in terms of their well-being things like that I think mental health we've been talking about that a lot here yeah. on London Live because it's a big theme of this year because it's coming yeah. to light now um, what do you think are the biggest pressures of teaching now uh, definitely workload mm. um, time obviously budget constraints uh, for the leadership team um, but I think more and more we're being asked to deliver um, an ever-growing curriculum um, and also we're being asked to look at, at students mental health we're having to provide for some students breakfast when they come in the morning you know the, uh, the, the list is endless mm -hmm. but um, I just wanted to add that we our students uh, arranged um, a youth summit yeah. a youth mental health summit last week that was run by students over 400 young people attended from different schools around so you know it is something that that we but especially at Joe Richardson, we take really seriously the hear. mental health of the staff and the students. 